Listen, it's going down. Million dollars worth of game. Yes, sir. It's going down, baby. Yes, sir. You see what's going on? Hey, Boogie, baby. Even though it's raining, even though it's raining, it dropped the top in the rain. The rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll win, baby. I'll race, baby. Oh, it's still some more in there, though. Get a, get, a, get a glance of the room, man. Because we in the gutters with this. It's going down. Listen, got that new album coming out. Better off the alone, man. It's going down, man. We outside. Where y'all at? You're now tuned into me, 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 me. Million dollars worth of high bridge. We in high bridge, man. Yes. It's going down. We in the Bronx. Now, hold up. We gotta I like get, that. Million dollars worth of high. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. We got to get straight to it. Now, we ain't going to play no games. You looking real nice. You got eight years in the game. 2016, you came in the game. It's 2024. You looking real nice. You got 19.8 million monthly listeners on Spotify. You got 3.5 billion views on YouTube. And you still, you just come from London. You know what I'm saying? You over there getting money over there. You everywhere. How do you stay relevant all these years? You know how many people then came and died in the rap game? And I'm not saying physically died. I'm just saying they fizzled out. No, Die. They yeah, yeah. I'm trying to be nice, cuz. I feel like a lottery ticket at the end of the day. I, I remember when I used to be like, damn, it's a million rappers on this whole, and whole, and whole New York. Two million rappers probably trying to make it out of here. And at the end of the day, I was just like, one out of a million trying to make it out. So when I just kept on going and going, it's just me at the end of the day. I felt like, like, it's either you got it or you don't. It's either a talent in the music or a talent somewhere else that, you know, represents this type of, you know, lifestyle we got going on with the whole industry, but yeah, you know the vibes like, I just be myself with this shit. I like making music. Music is a hobby to me, so I just keep on doing this shit no matter what. I stay in the studio living in, or I just try to stay focused up all the time, do the same things I do with my bros and shit, just worry, stay focused. And, and, and you know, I, I see a lot of artists and I always say, Gil, Gil, me and Gil been in many studios and I snap out a lot of times, and I snap out a lot of times, because I be telling artists, I be like, nah, nah don't play that shit. Play the shit on the hard drive. It seemed like y'all make all these songs and some of y'all greatest shit was on the hard drive, but y'all just put them to the side and won't let that shit go. How many hard drives you got? Like, literally, how many songs you got? Ain't no count. I never counted how many songs hundreds. I got. Nah, it's more than hundreds. Oh, uh, you got thousands of songs. How so. to, you know, better off alone, how did you come up with these songs out of all them thousands of songs that you got? You know, and I know you probably argue with the team because I know it's something they like, yo, man, you should put that out, man. You're like, nah. It's about like, I feel like it's a gut feeling at the same time as about, it's about like what's going on at the moment with your life. If I feel that shit at the moment, I'm not going to lie, I'm putting it on the album. Certain fans, like, I make my, I make my songs for my fans at the same time as making them as a hobby at the same time. So it was like, like, you know, I try not to make it like a job. I try to make it just the shit that I really feel at the moment, you know, so those are the songs I choose. If it's still fire, it could be better than my whole album. I'ma drop it one day, word. Unless the shit probably get leaked too crazy, you know. But yeah, that shit just end up being magic, bro. That shit just, it just be happening for real. Why, why, why Hold on, let me just say this before we go any further, man. We on we on 166 in Nelson, man. You know what I'm saying? That's on Dubai right there in the cut. High Ridge, man. You know what I mean? Hold on, get a get a get a get a glance of the room, man. Cause we in the gutters with this right now get a glance at everybody in the room because we really in the gutters with this and you got like ferraris and shit parked on the corner like <laughs> double park like double park like we ain't know where to go to we pulled up we like uh this motivation at the end of the day too we got a lot of young kids in the neighborhood that see us and like look up to this type of shit. i remember when i was younger i seen the damn white lamborghini i'll never forget in front of the projects i'm looking at that shit like nah that that's crazy i thought it was a rapper but he was on the block, you know, just getting money with a Lamborghini on the block. And I just always was thinking like, damn, imagine what I could do to people nowadays. I'd be thinking like, imagine what I could do to people by just pulling up. And I look at it like it's nothing still, you know what I'm saying? You know how you pull up in your car, it's regular. You just woke up out your crib, about to go get some food, supermarket type shit. Like that shit, like nothing to you. At the end of the day, these people, these kids, you look at, they look at it like it's a movie, like a movie in their face, like, you know what I'm saying? So I like that shit. That's, that's good energy for me. Like, How many movies you got? Cause I see like I see a bunch of shit sitting out there. <laughs> movies you got ten? Uh, we you know <laughs> you know we be chilling with fifty and all that. We making a lot of movies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about them cars. Them cars I know what you're is a movie. About. I know what you're oh, you got a bunch of them. Huh? Oh, alright, cool. I'm working on some shit right now. I'm trying to get that double X, that double X S790 right now. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Boy, you well, talking the numbers? Got, I don't know what the. F that is. I don't, it don't matter. Look, if y'all got it, come. I need it. I need it. All y'all, all y'all, you know, all them dealerships and all that. What is it? It's like, look it up. Double S, I mean, double X, the SF90 double X. 
I like the race car. Sh I like the stuff you can really like, you know, get sturdy with. Mm. I don't like it to just look cool. I drive my cars. I'm gonna put about a thousand miles on that one. Yeah. Thousand miles on that. Sh That's that money talk. Chill out. Thousand miles. Okay. <laughs> you you just got buy beds for forty four thousand on your sh the first year. I might put two hundred on mine. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> get money ass. Yeah, be straight out of high bridge. How did you How did you come up with the title? But off alone. What, 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 define that for me. What do that mean? I'm a I'm a loner still. At the end of the day, I still be like, no matter how much like love I get, like friends and family, it's like I go in an environment by myself, and I just be like, even in the studio, I go in the studio, Dolly, and I make some shit that I'm not gonna make in front of everybody. It's a it's probably a thing where it's like um, a whole mind thing, but at the same at the same time, when I get in the studio, studio Dolly, I make that heartbreak shit that my fans want to hear, so I can't make that. Shit in front of a whole lot of whole lot of thugs and shit. That shit like <laughs> but <laughs> that ain't the truth because they like that shit too. But then at they the same time, like as soon as they get in the car, they we be like that shit. We, we buy shit. we like that shit. We buy ourselves, so we all better off alone. When you put yeah. it like that, like we like that shit. And we doly, you know, car doly bumping my. He shit. think that shit in the car with a bunch of a car full of motherfuckers. So his pride different than like yeah, he be in there. I'm everyone. Get the fuck out of here. Ain't nobody it's all that. in me. Low, low. <laughs> Oh, like, I done seen them cry doing? a few times. He ain't got a, he ain't got a lot I just, of it. I'm a real one, man. I ain't gonna. You <laughs> beat up lying for but it. But not that song. I didn't yeah, say yes, that song. Did. Like, I didn't say that song. You <laughs> lying. So, 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 how do you, how do you, because we see that people, you know, you say you better off alone, but people really respect you in the industry. You got some solid relationships, some solid brotherhoods. How did that come about? Because, you know, a lot of times it seemed like people buy more with people that's just from outside of their city. Cause I think they have relatability. Like, what's some of the relationships you got like that? Yeah, I feel like when you go across all these countries and, you, and these cities and you on tour and you meet, like, first of all, you gotta realize the first time you go on tour, that's when you realize it's a hood in every city, every country. It's a it's a it's a neighborhood that's like your neighborhood. So when you meet these people, y'all like attached like that. Like one person, even even Vert, Vert from y'all yeah. side. So it's like Vert, you everybody look at him on the media like this way, like in real life. It's a whole nother way, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, bro, just like, you know I know, what I'm saying? I know, I like, know what's going on. We know what's going on. So it's like, so, you know, the industry is the industry. Real life is real life. People that meet like me in real life and they see what type of I am, they're not going to, like, you can't, you can't hide it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's either you fuck with me or you don't. And I don't really chase nothing in the industry. I don't, I don't go try to look for friends in this shit. You know, I'm not outside going in places that everybody's at. I'm just like, I'm with my friends. Like, you know, we going to the club, right. <laughs> or like, <laughs> that's my time? that's my fun type. Shit. Like, is it ever times? And this and this this the sounds change so much in this rap game. And over the year, you've been in the game eight years. That's a long time. Has it ever been a time where, as though, you had to sit back and you came a little leery, or you or you thought you was going? veer off to do do a different sound to try to move around yeah i, try, I tried that shit a whole lot of times if you don't realize like if you look at my my catalog yeah. most of my most of my hits is different sounds like i went from making still think about you to my shit, to um jungle and all that to me and my guitar to my look back at it and like all them songs sound different like a lot of people be like they want the old eight boogie back but the old eight boogie was a whole lot of damn sounds together and just kept on dropping. You know, old A Boogie was broke. Yeah, exactly, too. Yeah. Like, so old about. A Boogie was. I got <laughs> Ferraris parked out there. I could never be that. He was starving. Yeah, I was I'm like, not starving. I'm going to roof, Chris, as soon as this interview was over. But it's crazy because I wasn't using the music as like a source of income before. I used it as like a. Like I said, it was a hobby to me. Like, I never, I never went to the studio trying to like. Oh, I'm making an album, trying to like really make it out the hood. Until I real, until I realized how nice I really was. Like when Bubba and QP really like pulled up and really like like brought me to we, what was that? Um, upstate somewhere. Um, nah, nah, we was living in the Avalon. They brought me out the hood, so we started living in the Avalon. And I was like, feel me? Like I was pop. Like feel me? I ain't have nothing. So we was just in the studio really working at that time and that's when I realized I had something now you know what I'm saying I made a whole lot of songs off of just hobbiness you know what I'm saying and then I it, just, it made it into something like that shit came came quick too this episode of me and I was worth a game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka now life ain't going your way you know what to do shout out New Amsterdam Vodka
uh, you caught your wife cheating today, you know what to do. Shout out New Hampshire damn vodka. Uh, you thought a check was coming your way and it didn't come? Mm. Shout out New Hampshire damn vodka. Is it still five times? It's filtered three times for a clean, crisp finish. Now you can drink it straight up. You can drink it on the rocks. Juice, soda, or you could just make a classic New Hampshire damn mule. Now that's up to you. But what I do want to tell you when you're out and about at your local liquor store, uh, New Amsterdam Vodka, yeah, get it to that register boop, get it home, drink it the way of your choice. It's the official vodka of bars through sports. So um, shout out to the New Amsterdam Queens. You can see we don't just front, you know, we ain't front. You can see the New Amsterdam is, is right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, yeah, so we ain't fronting. Now we ain't cracked this bottle yet, you know, but this bottle, crack dean, uh, yeah. Official vodka bars through sports. Make sure you get you some New Hampshire damn vodka. Right. This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by Body Armor Zero Sugar. The brand new Zero Sugar sports drink from our friends at Body Armor provides real hydration with no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or dye. Whether you're looking to stay hydrated or recovering from a long weekend, Body Armor Zero Sugar has got you covered with great tasting flavors like fruit punch and lemon lime. They're a huge partner of Barstool, and we love Body Armor Zero Sugar. You know, I drank the lemon lime, this one right here. The day that I was out and about, and I was working out with Tyrese and the kids, and uh, the hydration was excellent. So head over to Body Armor Zero Sugar. is available at Body Armor Zero Sugar. is available in stores nationwide. Head on over to Walmart and get yours today. Body Armor Zero Sugar is available at Walmart and Nationwide. Head over and get yours ASAP. Body Armor Zero Sugar. Right. Like, I wish I could tell you how to hold it. Sometimes you need to get out of <laughs> sometimes you need to get out of certain environments to grow. Yeah, that's a fact. Like, that just be the reality of that shit. I'm a, a person like that too. That's why I say I'm better off alone, cause distractions is you know, that shit <laughs> that me up easy. Any, anything could be a distraction for me, like. I'm in the stool, like I gotta have, it could be inspiration or it could be a distraction for me. Well, no, I understand. One of your homies come from the clubs, got four sets of buns in that motherfucker. You ain't recording no more. <laughs> <laughs> in there, right like a motherfucker, homie come eat like this. Well, it could be anything though, for real, <laughs> like. Yo, you gonna finish the song? I get to that shit tomorrow, man. <laughs> but, but, but how was it? I see a motherfucking eagle out the window and get distracted. <laughs> Yeah, well, you definitely get distracted see, by the bus. I ain't trying to throw it on the eagle. eagle I like the bus. <laughs> the fuck out of here. Eagle, what the f How you gonna see an eagle in the studio? There ain't no windows in the studio. No. Yeah, this hey, they all do that. Start talking about them buns. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. They go dinosaur. I'm done. I'm distracted. <laughs> they got they windows. Don't worry about it. They got windows. There ain't no window in the studio. Yeah, this They got now, windows, now, man. Now, how. Hold up, y'all. Hold up, y'all. How, how important was it to have big homies like. The QB. How, how how important was that? It was always like a. It's like being a, a student of the game type. Shit. You always gotta know that you, no matter how big you get, that you are a student of the game. Like it's one of those moments. Like, especially due to the fact that we was already close. Some people can't mix family with business, friends with business, and that shit happened and it's still <coughs> and it's still working out. Is a you know, a, like a proven fact. Like some people look at other mistakes. Like nah, you know, we fixed those mistakes that happened in the past, and we still we still rocking out. So like this. Shit like I said, it's motivation. The old be that be you know trying to do shit together as a unit, mm -hmm. and they think they can't do it because it's like this and this. Nah, y'all don't got enough money. Nah, like I, I had the talent. Like you had the talent. Like it don't it don't really matter. At the end of the day, somebody gonna find that. But see, at the end of the day, I'm gonna keep it all the way real. I'm gonna give you a shout out. That's a testament to you, because a lot of rappers they get an OG or they get a or whoever that believe in them. Mm -hmm. And then they blow up, and now all of a sudden that ain't good enough. But at the same time, hold up, Gil. At the same time, when that nigga put 150, 200 in you, he was, he, he could have took an L. That's a big He could have took a two, 300. That's a now big when the motherfucker come up, that percentage. That's how it would have been. If I wasn't here today, that's how it would have been. would have took an L, but would have still rocked out with me. And that's where the love came from like that. Like, right. like it was a time when I thought it was an L, for me? Absolutely. And, like, and I seen that, so it was like when I seen was still rocking out with me. I'm like, all right, bet we in this shit. 
it felt more comfortable even doing what I'm doing. Like right. it felt more like less of a job. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I want to shout you out because a lot yeah. of people get to your status. They get, goofy. they get everything. They get the cars. They get the women. They get the houses. They get the jewelry. They bank account on God. Blah, 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 blah. And then they also get the motherfuckers in their ear. Yeah. Why the he get thirty percent? No, the mother. Yeah. It's been around for it's, so long, you know. If it's always gonna I, be those. I, like, I could elevate you if you was over here. I could, you know, you'd be. Yep. Good. That's gonna be everywhere, though. It's always gonna be that yeah. too, like especially you, when you, you got some shit, like, like when you got some shit behind you, you got some talent behind you. This is gonna be on. Gonna be like, coming. And, be and the reality of it is, sometimes the motherfuckers actually be telling the truth. Sometimes they don't. That's why I say. But the reality of it is, if something ain't broke, what the fuck we gonna fix it for? Yeah, exactly. That's why I say we, you know, my shit rolling made mistakes in the past like that don't mean nothing like everybody can't. make mistakes the only reason why them people is at the level that they at is because they made a load of mistakes to get there that's why they're able to come to you and they see the little mistakes you make so you got a little if you did this you'd have sold another extra yeah that's like what a what a shit yeah sure. i'm cool with my buck 15 Fuck out of here yeah like you see where we came from that's why i say like certain people yeah. be like oh i see the potential in you doing this and this sometimes i don't even care about being the best person in the world there's no such thing as being the best like you could be the top artist in the world right but at the same time like i'm just i came from right here bro like right. <laughs> where i'm at right now is fire right. for me but it's no it's no limit to this shit at the end of the day so you know you got to keep on chasing the dream for people that even like my mom people like my mom like she like remind me that i got to keep on going in this shit, you know like you can't just stop right here you know but like i said bro music is a hobby you know, to being me. the biggest artist in the world too come with a lot of you bro, know this shit is a hobby to me i could i can't even i can't hide from music like this shit, i'm always gonna end up in but the how booth. do you stay motivated when when you, when you, you, you bad and good it's always you, bad and good in everybody's life and you gotta just use that okay that's the motivation. You'd yeah, like, it'd be some fucked up shit. And sometimes I gotta act like, sometimes I would make songs and gotta act like it's not even me, or I gotta look at my friend's situation and put it in my song so people won't even ever really know, but at the same time, it's stories that people relate to, so I just, you know, I fuck with it, like, you know? Look, one thing I could, uh, you know, understand as an artist is, if you relatable, and you saying, you talk about shit that people go through every day, and it's hot. How can it not win? That's a fact. Because so many people can relate to this because they go through it in real life. Yeah, besides all the shit that's going on, like with the whole shit we be saying with the program, shit, with this industry, like the real music is going to be known, it's going to be shown. Mm -hmm. Like that's that shit is going to be that shit always. Like, right. So you can't, you can't knock that. Do you ever get intimidated by the machines? When I say the machines, I'm talking about somehow how you doing your stuff real is organic, the numbers is real, but sometimes you be going up against machines. Nah, I don't go, I don't, I don't knock that. You want to look like you want, you know, you want to make yourself look like this. Go ahead, but I like looking at real shit. I like looking at what I can really do, actually do. So whatever numbers I come out with, that's actually my numbers. And shit. That's why I do even extra work when it comes down to it. I drop the EP first, drop a little, you know, something first, because I'm not doing that other, you know. Mm -hmm. So we here. <laughs> yeah, he know about that, that machine. <laughs> it's real. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, we ain't even knowing that. So we here. Now, what, what is your favorite song on the album? I see you got Dirk, I see you got Pluto, you got Friday, you got uh, mm, uh, Big Dog. Mariah. Like, what, like, like where, what's your best song on that album? Don't, you know me, man. When it comes down to it, I make all type of shit. So, like, I put every song on there because I liked every song. But I would have to say my favorite song, I like they shooting. It's not even a feature. I like that song. Though. I previewed it a little something on, yeah. on, on Casanet um, a lot before. But that shit, that's my shit right there. I ain't gonna lie. It's some, it's some heat on the album, though. Mm -hmm. I really made this one for my fans, though. Like, what, you, what you got on there for the ladies? Hmm. Is that John from you on Friday? You on Friday? Everything is always for the ladies really coming out of me. Even if it's not, even, even if it don't seem like it, it's still. Still for the ladies, huh? Yeah, mm. yeah. When you was coming up, was you one of them dudes that just sit in the crib listening to slow songs and shit? Be singing in the mirror and all that? I listened to a lot of Michael Jackson and shit. Ain't gonna okay, lie. okay, right okay. Here, you, did you have like, a glove? Because Gil had the glove. Got it. You had that nasty jacket. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had the glove. Put that did you have the glove? gloves on me? I had oh, that. Glove. I had my socks. Ass Did you do any talent shows? I had my Did you socks. do any? Oh, hold on, see, see, you can get away with that because you was a kid. We was damn, we was out here robbing motherfuckers. He wasn't wearing a glove. 
So you had a real leather jacket, bitch, with all the zippers. That was old. That was, that was in the closet. That was old. What was you talking that about? Was that, you that, that, that was old. That was old. Nasty ass Michael. Got it. That was old. Listen, was you in any talent shows and shit? Did you do any talent shows, Boogie? I used to do like poetry and shit. Yeah. I'm talking about with the mic. Did you oh, do the you mic? Was a deep New York. I ain't, I ain't do. I ain't do no microphone. No, 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 no. What type of poetry? I wrote the. Shit. Oh, I wrote the. Shit. Drop one of your poems. Go ahead, give it to him. Nah, I ain't. Nah. Oh, See a butterfly in the sky. It's more like a. <laughs> I wasn't even on that. I wrote like bars type of shit. In oh, my so poem. you was rapping. Yeah. You know how you got to make that shit seem fun when you in school. Like that shit came to me. You know, it turned out to be something. So fuck it. Now Gil always say this. And Kyle snapped the fuck out when we had Kyle Sinatra on here. Shout out to the Bronx. That the Bronx is the dirtiest place in New York. It's always this battle, and everybody just beats like up. dirty. Everybody, no, it looking nice oh, out there. Like, like, everybody beats y'all the fuck up. Like why? Everybody, when I ask everybody, everybody I ever asked from New York, what's the dirtiest part of New York? Every fucking body said the Bronx. Look, somebody claiming that. Shit. Look at it. It don't look dirty. It look real nice in this joint. It don't look dirty. Oh, somebody back there talking about I ain't washing two days. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that light, though. <laughs> no, is it the Bronx? Yeah, they call it Dirty Bronx. They do. They call it Dirty Bronx. I guess it's because the it's shit do out here. I don't know. Because, see, one thing about North Philly, we, we know we the dirtiest. <laughs> We claim it. We don't, it ain't even. Nah, niggas take showers every day and shit no, like that. No, we do. South Philly is what? South Philly, South Philly is like. We dirty, but we I was. Yeah, South Philly way cleaner than North. Because South Philly got the white folks too down there. So they actually going to clean up. They got some Italians down there. North. I up, we the Bronx. Brooklyn coming up when we was when we was younger. Brooklyn was a dirty. Sh they gentrified. Man. You know what I have. They put the white folks out there in the muff cleaners, people to clean up. They made that sh look like people clean in the Bronx. You don't know. You never seen that shit in your life. <laughs> oh God, they made Brooklyn look like Jersey right now. <laughs> they come through, clean up. The, I mean, they come through with the, with the, the machine. Side, the street cleaner. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. They getting up the coat. Uh, they getting up the coat. Right yeah, you got to slide to other parts, too. Road. It's it's way dirtier parts than this. We, we, we type of gentrified, too. It's just that we buy Yankee Stadium. We, like, six blocks away from Yankee Stadium. You can see it from the window type shit. Like, so they got to park up here and all that. You know, they got to bring in the clientele. So it is what it is. But the Bronx is type dirty. <laughs> Keep it a buck. <laughs> We might be the exception. Who the exception? We ain't the dirty niggas. No dirty niggas. No, I'm not saying the I'm not saying he taking shit personal. There you go. Got to. You talk about my no, borough, man. No, we ain't. We, we, I washed up this morning. No, I'm not talking about the people. I'm talking about I ain't dirty when I said North. When I said North Philly is the dirtiest, I ain't talking about the people. I'm talking about the hood. It's the streets that the, is the dirtiest. Yeah, yeah, we got raccoons. We got, we got rag, we got raccoons. Hey, pull up on your standing up. Y'all got raccoons. Self-explanatory. Let's pull up on you standing up like this. Yeah, I, a, a, a goon that a tell on you. What you talking about? A fucking a, a goon that a shoot the shit out you and then tell on everybody. Raccoon. Talk about a human being. We talk about a raccoon. <laughs> no, I'm talking about a. a <laughs> Shoot you and tell on you. Wait, hold on. As they call him in Philly. I did, but I got that's what I call him. As they call him in Philly. Yo, you're a good, tough rat. Like, oh, like, nigga, come home. Like, oh, you told me. I told Wait, you. Wait, you did. We don't get them. We don't get them nicknames. They don't deserve nothing. Yeah, you're a rat goon. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, you come home, you tough dog. You, you still told, bro. I don't give a fuck you, you tough. You are right, you you still a goon, but you still a rat. <laughs> you a rat goon. You a rat goody. <laughs> you say you a rat goody. Now 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 now, QP. Look, what what made him so special that y'all seen y'all pulled up and said we gotta go get him? What what was so special about him? 
What was so special about me? To be honest, V12, <laughs> V12, that's one of my, uh, our, our man, she's younger than us. He pulled up on me and he was playing Boogie's song called Temporary. I don't know if you ever heard it, but that's okay. one of Boogie's first songs. Free V12. And that shit, y'all, that shit was just sounding crazy. I heard that, I said, oh, nah. He, saw, he got something special going on. I ain't gonna lie, I was on the road hustling with this shit known. He the first one put me on his music. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, he used to ride around in the M. What's, what's that, the M5? He used to ride around the M5 the whole block. I used to be like, who that is bumping my shit? to be bumping temporary yeah and then and then and, then, and you know what's important did y'all did y'all have any music experience before then Hell no. now you just graduated college what you was just i just dropped out of college now that's I'm, what we went with like I'm i just dropped out of college too so it was like you ain't had you wasn't playing on the basketball team in college was you nah, nah. well you wasn't good then stop with gil he was playing in college <laughs> leave him alone leave that <laughs> alone leave gil the <laughs> alone leave gil alone no the reason i asked that is because no straight up <laughs> yeah, because you keep telling me I got a game. You not you played on the soccer team in college. You didn't play basketball. That's why you was in Marcus in London. I, ain't gonna, I was soccer. fixing I was fixing ACs. I ain't gonna oh, lie. Oh, okay. He was he was fixing them ACs. He was HVAC or some <laughs> shit. I was fixing AC units and shit. Learning how to like put the put the copper together and all that. Mm. More like welding and shit. Yeah. yeah Let me find out you could have been putting ACs in. Yeah, I could have been in Yo, Florida, man. motherfucker. Make it easy. Like, <laughs> I heard you. She had him. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. We'll be the Ferraris out there. Be a motherfucker. I'd have made that shit a Ferrari out of something. Hey, one me. thing about, let me just say something about. If this rap shit ain't work, we would have made that Ferrari happen. Trust me. Let me just tell. Let me just tell you I something about you, New York, <laughs> man. Y'all niggas is the greatest blenders on planet Earth. You. Go anywhere and blend. It's a in Nigeria right now. Talk about yeah, I'm from the Bronx and I run this. Shit. <laughs> yep. Talk me in Nigeria. What the f is you talking about? Everywhere you go, it's a there. Fifteen big ass chains on me. <laughs> everywhere you go, it's a there from New York who in position doing something. Anywhere in the world, man. Y'all the greatest blenders on planet Earth. It's a fast, it's a fast city, like, you gotta have that. You see how, you, you watch Power? Yeah. It's like fake like that. That's a movie version, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's the mother club owners, the mother Italians and shit, the Armenians, the Albanians, all that shit, everything together is out here, so, uh, you know, everybody gonna and think you got 11,000 on one block. We all gonna think we run, we, all gonna, four projects. <laughs> like, we all gonna think we run the city at the end of the day. Everybody gonna think we, they run the city. So it's like, who really run the city? That's what, that's what it really come down to at the end of the day. So everybody chasing that, you know? So y'all just go other places and then y'all just run that Y'all not even from there. We in Australia with it. Like, y'all everywhere. I don't know, I'm selling out arenas in Australia right now. Like, so that's really like it. I really connect with them and all that out there. Shout out to Huncho too, by the way. Mm. You know, um, I wear a free Huncho, my son, my son book right now, but. You could never imagine you'd be selling out arenas in, in Australia though. Uh, that ass, London, I just sold 20,000 tickets in O2 Arena. Like mm. it was nothing like, mm. MSG, Benson, MSG like is nothing. But when, when it comes the tour is like, I'm in the middle of the break right now. I got like two weeks off. So this is my little break right here. All right, but when it come down to like overseas right now, <laughs> That shit different. It took me it took me a while to get there to that point, but it's different right now. They show a lot of love out there. You know what I want to say? And I want people to watch this and pay attention. You're looking at Boogie, he's successful eight years in the game. And um, all he had was people that believed in These two brothers right here, Boogie P, they believed in him. And they ain't know, they ain't know nothing about the game. So really, this game is really about just having somebody that can believe in you because you're going to figure it out. You gonna bump it to this dude. He gonna give you a little game. You gonna bump it to them. They gonna give you the game. The 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 the, uh, the PR people, the well, if, the, the tour lucky, people, booking agents. You enough, you gonna believe in yourself a lot if you're lucky enough. But like most, you know, nine times out of ten, it don't even work like that. Real shit. Like it don't even like for real. It don't even work like that. You see how I was thinking? It's a two million out here rapping and shit. How the fuck I'ma be a rapper? That's like that's really crazy. How today I'm really a rapper, bro. Like no funny. Shit. This episode of Me and I's Worth a Game is brought to you by. Supercuts.
There's nothing more satisfying than making a smart choice. We can all agree on that, right? Especially a smart hair choice. At some salons, you don't know what you're getting into. That's not the case with Supercuts. They delivered close to 22 million in 2023 with an average of with an average rating of 4.88 out of 5. So that means they chop you, they tie dot, lead to the side, whatever you want. Supercut, you're happy when you're leaving out the door. And I know you're asking, 4.88 out of 5? Why is the, the rating so high? Maybe because every Supercut stylist has an ongoing training way beyond what you receive at cosmetology school. For your next haircut, use your head. Head to your local Supercuts. Real smart hair. For a real smart hair experience, simply walk into Supercuts or visit Supercuts.com to find the nearest salon that's close to you. Supercuts. Get chopped right. Yes. This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by DraftKings, the best sports book around. Did you ever play the over-under game with your friends? You know, I think I can eat a slice of pizza in under 30 seconds, or I know it'll take you over a minute to down that two-liter. If you have, then you're going to love Pick 6, the new fantasy game from DraftKings, an official partner of the NBA. Here's how you play during the NBA playoffs. It's super simple. First, download the DraftKings Pick 6 app. Then pick between two and six players and choose if they will have more or less of a stat, like rebounds, points, assists, and more. Track your picks and play against others for a shot to win a huge cash prize. That's all there is to it. And for the first pick six players, check this out. New customers play five bucks and get 50 in pick six credit. So you play $5 and you get 50 extra dollars in pick six credits. Play pick six from DraftKings, the new fantasy app that packs more fun into less time. Download the new DraftKings pick six app now and use code Gilly. It's on the screen. I'm giving you a chance right now. Come on, whip your phones out, download, use code Gilly. You hear me? New customers play five bucks and get 50 and pick six credits. That's code Gilly on DraftKings. Pick six, the crown is yours. Right. Let me, let me, let me correct Wallow on something dope. You gotta have some that believe in you, but they also gotta be movers and shakers. Yes. The gotta be out here, they gotta be waving that motherfucker. Flag, they gotta be in everybody's face, they gotta be making it happen. I'm pretty sure them did a lot of groundwork. This shit ain't just, oh, we just gonna pop this shit off from the crib, it's gonna take off overnight. It take a lot of groundwork, it take a lot of talking to motherfuckers, being in these faces. Yeah, that was the whole hood. We got the whole hood running with this shit. Like, yeah. Like, like I said, like you see how he running around in the M5 with the shit was way more than that. We had steroids on it. Yeah. Going to clubs, play this, play this. DJ play this, play this. So we, you know, started to do walkthroughs. We was doing walkthroughs for free. Going in there, I'm, that's when I met PNB Rock. We met PNB Rock. We was in a club. Yes, doing yes. A, Rest in peace to PNB Rock. Uh, we was doing walkthroughs. You always show y'all bro, real live brotherhood. In fact, that's the first, you know, that's the first I met in the game. So I was like, I'm always gonna show love to him. When it come down, we was in a club. I got 500 for that shit that day. I'm performing. He came so mad love. He like, yo, who this over here? For me, like he fucked the whole swag and shit. So I'm like, I right, bet. I fuck with his, his his whole movement. He got he got his whole man's rocking babes and shit. So I'm like, I right, bet yeah, we together. Know, yeah. Philly, you know, like like I said, when you see other from other cities, it's like you connect different from being with other that you know. Our whole life knew about Highbridge. So by the time we famous, it's like. Why you not with us? You know what I'm saying? You wasn't with us. So why you trying to be like acting like you with us? It's not like, of course, you could love my music all you want, but like you wasn't really, you know, it's different from just being, <laughs> or, you know how it is when it, or, like, but I'm a, I'm a good n at the end of the day. Like, my, my, my arms was always open when it came down to even being a with money. Like, for me, we let pull up, whatever. But like, when I thought to bring up, shit, nah, it's never got the right to bring up shit because didn't really like with us it was always hybrid and and and, and calling and shit. like like we wasn't really like you know it was a few from different blocks that was really jacking us it wasn't really jacking us so it was like it is what it is so we 
squad. You the first one to blow from you the bro, you the first one to blow from high bridge. You the first one to go. Yeah, like this never happened before. Cause I know a lot of motherfuckers came out of Queens. I mean, came out the Bronx. But you the first one to go from high bridge. The Bronx was, I mean, um, hip hop was created like six minutes from here yeah uh -huh. oh, okay. so it was like that was that's not high bridge though but that's what i'm about to say is that high bridge no what's nah, that nah nah that's um um yeah yeah that, nah, cedric yeah that's where that's where qp's from type not not from but that's where he was born he grew up in high bridge and he was like born over there where hip-hop was really well, what rappers like, that we know of is from high bridge oh yeah 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 oh, oh yeah oh Guardi be my oh newsflash see y'all ain't know I ain't gonna lie, I'm tripping right now. I ain't even, I ain't even think about, I ain't even think about that. First of all, well, 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 my full my song. When it come down to it, look, look, look. Time out. I'm thinking about right now. That's why I'm, that's what I'm thinking about. Breaking like. news. Back in the day, Gil body my song in the battle. He bodied you. You had boss. He bodied you, my song. He bodied you. I, you know. Let me hear this. This song. one I was his Let manager. Me hear this song. Come on, man. I'll body this. Let me hear something right now, Gilly. He know it. Jay-Z and Dame Dash was the judges. Let me hear something right now, Gilly. Nobody, Let me hear something that was in your notebook. Uh, what you my, have for my... What you, he, what you, he know. <laughs> what you have he, for my song? He, he know you didn't nah, hear nah. about that? Nah, real shit, though. Shout out to no, shout out to my song, though. Shout out, God, shout out to my song, though. Shout out to Cardi B. They made, like, we all, all, all three of us made this shit. Hey, like, hey, real. hey, hold up, hold up, y'all. Hold up. We made this shit real. Hold up, y'all. Hey, hey, my son. I hate calling them right now. My son. What up, what up, I'm at High Bridge right now with A Boogie and the whole gang, and I'm just I'm just telling him I'm I'm giving him Black History about when Gil came up to New York, and you know a barbecue bake High Bridge, man. Wait, we didn't kill High Bridge today. We not gonna do that. We not doing that. <laughs> he had yo, he had he had he had bars for you, bro. Gilly had bars. Gilly had bars for you. You know better than that. <laughs> He scared the, he scared to show me the bars right now. I know you lying. I know you're not lying. Dog, I had <laughs> that. He ain't got no bars. He know that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he know I had that work. That butter that make the fiends stutter. Good, good. Give me another. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So you said, so you said it didn't happen. Nah, it was a good battle, but you know what happened. We, we, we <laughs> oh, <all happened>. ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you man. cooked them up. Hey, you, hold on, hold on, hold on. And they Lego. You cook, you cooked him up. Listen, you, you cooked him up. Won the money. This is what I know. I know at the end of the battle, we was inside the studio. It was Diddy and, and um. No, oh, the real it was, man. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Tony Draper, he was there with Diddy. <laughs> no, hold up, hold up. You got some spanning to do. Hold up. <laughs> he said you got some spanning to do. <laughs> Not me. I ain't got no spanning to do. <laughs> <laughs> he listen to me. Let me tell you what happened. They called me to the studio because Gilly and them was already. No, the real battle. The real battle, the first battle, was us at Def Jam, and Jay-Z and Dame Dash was the judges. They bet that money, it only what it was supposed to be the best out of five rounds, it only went three. <laughs> he talking that shit. <laughs> There's two battles, Gil. You won that one, and then the second one, oh! you No, because they stopped it. Because the first time, the very first rap I want, Puff said, ask him, Puff said, who gonna be the judge? I said, you gonna be the judge. And you betting the money, because this is sweet. He said, he won the first round. The second round got even worse. He said, I got to get around the mic, so oh, my man Drake said, stop that bullshit. How far 
Yeah. You better stop that bullshit, Puff. I'm going to text you to Eddie. Pull up, man. Yeah. We can battle again right now. Look, he like that shit. What's crazy, though? What, what, what's so crazy is that. that no, you funny as shit. What's so crazy is that, that and I, I want to say this, and I told Don Q when he came in here, the two best funk flex was Don Q and my son. It came out of High Bridge. I don't care what nobody say. Because you bought it. When that Wu Tang shit came on, you went ballistic. Well, on it's, crazy cause, oh, it's crazy because I brought. I no, brought. What? No, was it? Nah, nah. No, he, no, no, no. He talking about. He talking no, about I'm the. Um, right here. He talking about the. Th na, 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 Uchi Wally. Eh. Oh yeah, that is nice. That, 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 that is nice. When I brought him yeah. out, I'm a hip hop story. My fault. When I, when I brought Don out he that day, he talked dirty to me. I'm not. I know. I, I wasn't even like. I wasn't even a freestyle type. Shit. Like I was a song maker. You know what I'm saying? Like at that point, I was just a song maker to me. So I'm like. I wanted Dawn to go up there so bad, and I felt like he was only gonna, you know, really get that recognition at the point where it was me coming and introducing him. So you know what I'm saying? He, he, he did that shit so crazy. What about my mother? You went so crazy. I was like, damn. I should. Like it was so. I was like, damn. I should have wrote some crazy shit. That shit was magic. Cause you just went in a little bit, then you let him go. I mean, and he I, went ballistic. Hey, Fendi. I wrote that shit. Hold up, hold up. Fendi. Fendi. Yo. What happened the time at Def Jam when you met me? That day you met me, I rapped for you three times. My sign manager walked past the door. You said, hold up. Let's bet right now. I got whatever on my man. You didn't even know my f name. Am I right? Yeah, facts. I bet 5,000. What happened when we went to that motherfucking room? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it was supposed to go the best out of five rounds, right? All right so, so, so Hold on. Wait, wait. How many rounds it went? It went two rounds. But three. One round you went and you went again. He didn't round no one. Like a Jay and them, Jay and them said. Money in the red iceberg sweater got it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was the 90s too. I had that shit on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. I just went. My son told a hey, boogie I was lying. <laughs> what you want, What's good? You got Why the you got boogie over there? We a high bridge. <laughs> you talking about? Me. What's good? Yeah, they told me you ain't allowed a high bridge. Like, I hit you back. It look like it's hot outside. Where you at? You in the yams? You in the yams right now? <laughs> oh, you, oh, you New York run to Jersey when y'all get some money. Out of here. Now we ready to go outside because we want to show the people that you know what's going on. I'm, I'm, can we go to the store? I'll give me some beverage out the pocket. Want to chop cheese, matter of fact? No, we don't eat that shit. We don't eat that shit. Fake cheese steak? That's a fake cheese steak. No, I ain't eating that shit. A chopped cheese. Fake ass cheese steak. <laughs> It's a cheeseburger chopped a cheeseburger up, chopped but that's chopped up. up. It don't, they that's chopped the burger. It's a chopped burger. cheeseburger. It's good. I, got I don't eat meat, so. <laughs> you don't eat meat? No. Do y'all just you know, make shit up, man? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Million Dollars River Game, High Bridge. It's going down. Got that shit out here. This joint crazy. This joint stupid. We outside. Oh, they got the mother. That joint stupid, ain't it? Yeah, that dude. We out here, baby. Yasurski. The iron. Hey, y'all, stand me. Hey, yo, yo, Wallo, go check what's in that bag, man. Go check what's in that bag, man? What's in that bag, man? Oh, what's in that bag? This Ooh. about this about two. Yeah, about, yeah. That's about two. I got eyeballing. When you get money, when you get money, you got eyeballing the money. That's about that's about two. I said, that's where you getting real money. No, about two two fifty, man. That's, that's you see what's in the bag. No, that's man. about two. That's, that's about two, cuz. You see what's in the bag, man. Yeah, that's that's some clean shit right there. You see what's in the bag, but that's all. Sometimes sometimes I like to feel like a rapper too. Oh, we got more. Oh, just uh. 
They acting crazy in High Bridge. It's crazy in High Bridge. It's crazy in High Bridge. That's about two two seventy. Eyeballing. I holler at y'all. We out here, baby. High Bridge, baby. Oh, it's still some more in there, though. Don't, Better off alone. Yeah, it's still some more in there. Go ahead, snatch it out of there. Yeah, you know what, I mean? what they talk? Huh? Out, going down, out baby. high bridge. Uh-huh. Wrong. A hey, boogie. Huh? 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 Oh, he ain't damn, boogie. You just gonna get disrespectful like that on a yeah. rainy day? Yeah, on a rainy day. Oh, that, thing, that thing growl. Well, hold on. Go see what stupid. boogie doing over this there, man. Go, go see what boogie doing, man. That thing. Oh. You hear that thing? It's crazy. Yo, yo, hey, drop the top on that. Turn that door into a transformer. He ready to drop the top on it. Break it down. Break it down. Break that shit down, baby. Oh, yeah, I mean, Optimus Prime. Even though it's raining, even though it's raining, drop the top in the rain. Rich. <laughs> Look at that motherfucker, man. Look at the brakes on that motherfucker. Look at the Look at those wheels. It's going down, baby. In the rain. Now, we ready to go get a chopped cheese. I don't know what's up. Now, we, we Philly boys. Cheese, not the Philly cheese, the chopped cheese. Man. Oh, man. Not the Philly cheese. Come on, we out of here, man. They talking about they don't like chopped cheese. We're going to put them on right the now. We're going to put them on right now. They don't like chopped cheese. Ah, you ready? Yeah, imagine, imagine the whole school get out right now. What time is it? What time is it? Ah, 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 six thirty. We good. We good. Yeah, imagine the whole school. Imagine the whole school just got out. That would have been crazy. <laughs> They got it. Yo, yo, yo. They got your shit in here, cuz. They got your jaws in here, baby. They, they got your shit in here. You know you love these jaws. Go ahead, man. For, go in for back in the day, man. Old time sake. You know these your jaws, man. The OE. You love these jaws. You get crazy. You get this up, baby. This is shit right here, cuz. You love these. You love these jaws. Them the jaws right there. This one's right here. Buddy right now. I thought he was buddy. No, the, the ones right there, the breakfast. No, all prison snacks. He he was he was he went a prison snack. He, he went all brother. prison snacks. Where's the pretzels at? Swiss rolls. And he ain't got no pretzels in this joint. Y'all want to go in the store? Y'all want something? You buying something out of there? Huh? Well, no. Give him fifty dollars. Yeah, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Give him fifty dollars. It's your man, right? You know him, right? All right, give him fifty dollars. No, it ain't crazy. Don't worry about it now. Cook these at forty-seven. And guess what they gonna get? Guess what they gonna get? That never too small. Let me just tell you something. I got a mother. Let me show you something, OJ. Let me show you something, man. I got a 6'4 wingspan, OJ. You see that shit? Yeah, you crazy as shit. First of all, let me just tell you this. Let me just tell you this. Let me just tell you this. I don't even play no with 35. That's disrespect to my game. I'm 47. Listen to me. I don't play no over 35. That's like playing a parked car. 
you know where you at. You know where you at. I took the shit out. You're high bridge. Good yeah. thing I'm 34. We three ball players Hello. over here. Y'all only came out. Y'all didn't come with Ray Allen. Y'all came with Allen Ray. He's saying that because he's raining outside. I'm telling you. He made it. He only saying that because it's raining outside. Allen Ray made it. From here. From here. And he's lucky you ain't coming on Sunday. And guess who will cook Allen Ray? Not you. Not you. Not you. Uh. Guess who will cook hey, Alan Ray? No, the f I do. <laughs> you see what the f I do? He seen this shit live in person. <laughs> let, let me just say this. I'm 47 years old. I won back to back MVPs at the Big Three. That's nobody over there. You heard what he said, though? The Big Three. <laughs> <laughs> Heard you, heard you, heard you. I cooked for a living. You know the one young boy that beat me? Jalen Ramsey. Oh, at least you admitted it. He beat me five games to four. He beat me five games to four. That is an all pro safety, 6 3. He beat me five games to four. You know what I do to Allen Ray? Nothing. 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 Let me stand straight up. See, I'm always slunched down. Be thinking I'm like five, six and shit. Let me stand straight up for a minute. Come on, little. Come on, little. I'm taller than you. Yeah, I'm his height. Yeah. Cause I'm always slunched over. I will work him out. Him out. You out. You out. You too. Oh, I ain't even playing you. I don't play over because you know I'll work you the. F out. I'll work you the f out. What? You too f little. I will work you I'll out. Oh, uh, six I'm four a, wingspan. I'm a big man. Uh, 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 that's gonna be the poster. I get shifty. Shifty. I'm from New York. Real shifty. Okay, let me tell you what I know about all New York guards. All of them. And this is fact. I'm gonna tell you about all of them. The handles, oh my God, I'm talking about, I'm, hold on, hold on. I'm talking about crossover, throw between your legs, behind the back four times, all that shit. If it was a rapper that described them jump shots, it'd be LL No J. <laughs> You nut ass. Look at this. Appreciate y'all, man. Getty, appreciate Real talk, man. All my youngins right here, I barbecue big. Yeah, you too little. I love to get your little ass. Like, yeah. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. You hear me? You already know. Oh, that's the That nigga here, that nigga. He old school security. You know these new. Talk now with shit. You hear me? Come on, give us one. Don't hold it in. There you go, there you go, there you go. He, he, he gotta get a hill on the